Hello, my name is Shan and I will show you some things that are commonly done in Microsoft Excel. First, let me show you a few parts of Microsoft Excel. The whole of this is called a workbook. The title of this workbook is TLE. This is a worksheet and the name of this worksheet is Sheet 1. This is the quick access toolbar. This is the, called the ribbon. This is the name box where you can find the name of the active cell. This is called the formula bar that shows what in a cell. This is called column. This is called a row. This is called a cell. This is called the vertical slide. This is called the horizontal slide. And this is the zoom slider. To open a workbook, just go to file, click open, then choose what file you want to open. Then double click, then file. Then double click to file. To save a workbook, just go to file, click save as. If you haven't saved your file yet, then choose where you want to save your file. Create a file name, then click save. If you have already saved your file, just click Ctrl S. To close a workbook, just click the close button or the X button. There are three ways on how you can view your workbook. These are normal view, page layout view, and page break view. Now let's go to sheet 2. First, I will show you. Number 1. How to insert data on worksheet. We can enter three types of data in a cell. These are text, numbers, and formula. Let me enter a few data first. Notice that texts are automatically entered left aligned. Notice also that numbers and date or time are automatically entered right aligned. Formulas always begin with an equal sign. Next is number 2. How to edit data. You can edit data in the cell or on the formula bar. For example, I will change this apple pie into orange. I can just click the cell and type orange and press enter. Or I can click the cell, go to the formula bar and type orange and press enter. Next is number 3, how to select multiple cells. Click and drag the mouse until all of the adjoining cells you want to select are highlighted. Release mouse. The cells will stay selected until another cell in the worksheet is clicked. Next is number 4. How to copy and paste cell content. Select the cell you want to copy. Right click, choose copy, then go to the cell where you want to paste, then click enter. Next is number 5. How to cut and paste cell content. Select the cells 
you want to cut. Right click, choose cut, then go to the cell where you want to paste, then click enter. Next is number 6, how to delete content within cell. Select the cells which contain the content you want to delete, then press del or delete. Next is number 7, how to drag and drop cells. Select the cells you want to move. Position the mouse on one of the outside edges. Click and drag to the new location, then release the mouse. Next is number 8. How to change the size of the column and row to change the width within. To change column width, point to the boundary, then slide it to your desired width. To change row width, point to the boundary, then slide it to your desired width. Next is number 9. How to insert cells, rows, columns, worksheet. To insert cells, click to where you want to insert a cell. Right click, then choose insert. To insert rows, position the mouse over the row where you want the new row to appear. Right click, then choose insert. To insert columns, position the mouse to the column next to where you want the new column to appear. Right click, then choose insert. Next is number 10. How to delete cells, rows, columns. To delete cells, Select the cells you want to delete. Right click then choose delete. To delete rows, select the rows you want to delete. Right click then choose delete. To delete columns, select the column you want to delete. Right click then choose delete. The last one is number 11, how to freeze paint. To freeze rows, select the row below the row or rows you want to freeze. Go to view and in window, click the freeze paint then choose freeze paint. Or you can also choose other options like free stop row or free stop column. That's all. Thank you.